a teacher, a lawyer, and the first black woman to own and edit a newspaper in North America. She was born Mary Ann Shad in 1823 in Wilmington, Delaware. Her activist parents were part of the Underground Railroad helping slaves escape to Canada. In 1851, she moved to Windsor, Ontario, where she started a school for colored children. Two years later, she started the Provincial Freeman newspaper, publishing fiery articles about the abolition of slavery and women's rights. She later moved the paper to Chatham, where there was a large black population. In an era where women were not supposed to be outspoken, Shad had to hide her control of the newspaper behind her brother and other leaders of the abolitionist movement. Marianne Shad Carey was, was one of those very strong-willed and determined women. And she was a very forward thinker. She sometimes thought out of the box. And she was a, rec a force to be reckoned with. She was one of those women in history um, that made many first steps for black women. Not, not only black women, but I think women in general. During that time, she married a Canadian, Thomas Carey, and obtained Canadian citizenship. In 1880, Shad Carey returned to the U.S. to recruit Northern Blacks for the Union Army in the American Civil War. This is a copy of her um, recruitment, uh, the state of Indiana, uh, to recruit for the Civil War, which is really kind. See the colored troops? August in this state. She became the first African-American woman to attend Howard University's law school, earning her degree in 1881. She left teaching and practiced law until she died in 1893. During her time in Canada, she was a fearless trailblazer for women's rights and the abolition of slavery. For the London Free Press, I'm Kelly Pedro.